Good morning, YouTube. Uh, it's nine minutes past midnight, so let's do this. Um, today's topic is transparent wood. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons like the magnetism of particle and momentum to receptors radiation are mathematical solution asteroid what am i doing up uh so transparent what we, we've talked about uh transparent materials in the past uh everyone knows about glass and plastic and glass tends to be really heavy and brittle plastic uh usually isn't very good for the environment um <clears throat> so you know we've we've talked about uh, oh, and both of those don't really have much strength. We've talked about uh, transparent uh, metals, uh, where we had a, I think one of these episodes we talked about transparent titanium, which isn't really titanium. It's you know a very very strong plastic. But so transparent wood. Uh, first of all, how do you even get transparent wood? You you take any wood product and you remove chemically the lignin, uh, which is a component out of the cell walls. Uh, this turns it white. And then you take that and you infuse it with a, uh, a transparent polymer. Uh, and you do a little twinking at the atomic level. And um, that makes it transparent wood. So with this process, uh, they can do this in the lab pretty easily, but they want to they wanna, uh, scale this up to, to bigger production um, levels. So why do they want to do this? Well, if you can, um, uh, if, you ha if you can get a material that's transparent, and let's say you have uh, a building that you want windows and you, and you do transparent wood, you have uh, more environmentally friendly material uh, than using glass or plastic. So that's kind of uh, a popular idea. I think people like that. Um, with uh, the fun thing here is that with solar panels, uh, normally with solar panels you have a photosensitive material and then you have some kind of covering, glass or plastic or whatever. Um, it turns out that with those you want you want two things in that in that clear cover. Uh, you want the transparency to be high uh, to allow light in, but also you want the scatter to be high uh, so that it scatters those photons into the photosensitive material underneath it. Um, I guess glass and plastic, you know, everyone knows that they're, they have high transparency, but they have actually really low scatter, uh, which is kind of interesting. So along comes this transparent wood product, uh, which has high transparency, which is good, but it also has a higher scatter, uh, which gives you more phot photo strength, photon strength, uh, which gets you more uh, more solar power. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of the idea there. So not only for building material with like buildings and whatnot, but also for these um, um, for these solar panels, which you know thinking about it outright, you wouldn't necessarily associate transparent wood with solar panels, but that's kind of a cool idea. It actually enhances uh, the, uh, the solar panel capability. So much so that uh, they've even taken really thin layers of this transparent wood and put it over the top of existing solar panels, um, and that scatter effect helps uh, improve the, uh, the electricity production of that existing panel. So even that's kind of cool because uh, you have a bunch of solar panels in existence right now and you don't need to replace them. All you got to do is just put this layer of stuff over it and you've improved it. Um, of course, ultimately, uh, it's probably better to, to get new panels with nothing but the transparent wood. So um, is that all I want to say? I think it is. So cool idea. Um, you know, wood wood products. Uh, you know, we we grow wood all the time. We're we're growing trees all the time, and so that's a sustainable uh, material that we can use. And it turns out that it doesn't matter what kind of wood it is. I'm sure some species of trees are better suited for this process than others, but it works on just about any tree. So uh, kind of exciting. 
for renewable resource, for uh, solar panel technology, uh, and just environmentally, um, environmentally conscious construction ideas. So, all right, there you have it. Uh, transparent wood. Um, I gotta head to bed. You gotta go do whatever it is you do. So, we'll talk to you next time. Robert Aki, you're the one. You make that time lots of fun.